Hi everyone, Teacher Jessica here, and I wanted to talk about what I was able to accomplish or what I was able to learn uh, this year that I took off of teaching, and I want to talk about a couple things that I learned that I thought was really cool and that I wouldn't have been able to do had I not taken this one year off of teaching. Um, I treated it like a sabbatical, like I needed a year off to just kind of like recollect myself and dive into some learning of things that I had been wanting to do. Number one, I was able to um, make a website and I used Wix.com. I bought a domain and with that domain, I used it and I created my website at, on Wix and it was really cool because I was eventually able to drive uh, customers, clients, which were people that wanted to learn English at an intermediate level and they were able to book classes with me using Wix and that was really cool. So as a follow-up to that, I do want to talk about how I was able to find customers. So there's this website called preply.com and it's just preply, P-R-E-P-L-Y.com. And there you can sign up as a tutor, as an you know, online tutor, and all you have to do is submit your profile. Once you submit your profile, you set a rate of how much you will charge for uh, per hour and then basically people can see your rate they can view your profile your availability and they can book a, a, a time with you and I use that to find a lot of my my customers the only thing that I didn't like about preply is that I had to give the very first session for free because preply takes the first class fee they take the entire fee that the person pays so you the teacher are only doing it for free but then after that there's a tiered commission or there's a tiered um, deduct basically it's tiered like for example if you teach uh, less than 25 classes they will take 33 percent of your tutoring fee so you either have to up your tutoring fee or you will just have to teach a lot of classes. And yeah, so what I would do is I would ask a student that if they wanted to continue classes, I could offer them a better rate if they went through my website. And really, I, I didn't do it very often. And I was able to get some long-term um, customers that would book on my Wix website. And I thought that was pretty neat. Um, I didn't continue to do it because number one, I didn't want to do so many pre-ply courses um, sessions for free. I felt like I needed to find another way. So that's one thing I did. Um, after that, I created a beginner a beginner course. So I started to learn about how creating courses is a really neat way of making you know income. You take the time to create a course. You learn about how to edit and how to make your videos um, quality videos and I was able to do that I learned I practiced I did all the things needed and I made a nine video uh, beginner English course and I published that as well you can find it um, at LearnMet it's um, an Indian uh, hosting it's an Indian hosted site and I've had um, a few people, a couple people buy my course and I, and that's something that I did. Um, it did take a lot of time and planning to, to do the course and I might continue to do courses, uh, but I felt like it was time to move on because I don't do many things for a long time I'm learning. Um, the, ne the next thing I learned was I learned to actually run ads on Facebook and it's pretty easy. so. I just had never done it before until I was trying to promote my course. Um, something else I did was I actually learned to open a store on an online store. I I learned to sorry I learned to uh, use Shopify and I was um, I learned to import, import products from Chinese companies through the 
software of Oberlo, which comes in Shopify. And I used it the first time I did a trial and then I like didn't use the trial because I just felt like it was overwhelming because you have to import and you have to change the wording on the description. Um, but I, I got started and then I didn't finish that one. And then I started again I, a few months later. I got like the urge to try again and I did a much better job creating a store with a lot more products. It was a general store geared towards like teaching and also living. Um, and it, it, I wasn't able to drive a lot of traffic to the store. So like if you don't drive a lot of traffic, you're not going to get sales. So I, I actually just closed that store. I only had it for a one month sub subscription because I realized that Amazon and Etsy are much better marketplaces to sell products because they are um, not being shipped in from China. So that takes me to my final point. Um, I've learned to create items and post them on Etsy. Etsy is a super easy platform to upload your listing um, of an item. For example, I made, I learned to, through watching YouTube videos, I was able to learn how to like cut pallet wood and stain it and use um, a stencil maker and so this was made with a stencil maker basically like vinyl a vinyl stencil and then I spray painted and then I, I, I did the same thing with the stars and it's really cool and I really like how it turned out and these are on my Etsy store and I can make that for oops, I can make that for like any person that wanted one because I have a stencil maker right here that I bought. Um, and lastly, on Amazon, Amazon's a little bit more complicated to post your stuff onto, but I've been working with my brother and um, my husband's a fire fireman, firefighter. So I decided that would be like a small niche to try to tap into. And so I had him make me about 20 wallets and I learned about lighting and product product photos and I brought a light box so I was able to do all that as well they come in five different varieties and yeah like I learned about SVG um, scaled vector graphics and all of this stuff that I'm talking about like if you don't know what I'm talking about it's okay because before two months ago three months ago I had no idea either and I'm, and if you know about it, well, you're, you're great. You know, this is stuff that I learned. And again, I'm just talking about these things because I feel that I want to give information to people that are thinking about maybe taking a year off of work, using online teaching as a way to support not being at a job every single day. With that said, I... Now that I have taken a year off to learn about all these different things, I now feel like I am equipped with some basic set of skills to move forward. And now I feel that I need a teacher income and online teaching income so that I can invest um, into these um, marketplace online stores that I've created. So I will be returning to teaching, except I won't be doing high school anymore. I'm going to be doing elementary, which I'm excited about. I don't have a position in place, but it's in the works. And I just wanted to talk to you about that. I know some of you have been following me for a while, or you watched some of my videos, you've heard that um, my story, and I just wanted to talk about that. So I hope this was helpful for you in some shape or form. If you have any, que any questions, um, just drop me a comment below. Hit the like button if you like this video. And I hope to see you again. Have a good one. Bye-bye.